What up, y'all? It's Peglin time. Doing this. All time, and we see feather and pull. Hey, uh, that's a new. What it means playing Peglin. That would. Hear me or can you not hear me? Okay, so you can hear the music and you can hear me both sound okay. Okay, cool. Alright, well I'll redo my intro. Thought it was a banger intro. Hello everyone and welcome to the Viper 100 where I play the 100 greatest video games of all time and I see whether I'm full of crap or not. Today we're getting pegged. That's a new term that I just came up with and what it means is playing Peglin and Peggle. Same stream? So, uh, that's all that that means. You can use that with your friend. Oh, sorry. So, alright. First up is Peglin. A couple years ago. hours of it exactly up my alley <laughs> let's get into it all right with it basically yes you should use that anytime you're using playing peglin or peggle yeah, and if you uh, if you play both, it's actually getting DP double pet. That's just a new, brand new. Uh. So first, we're gonna play without cruise. Gotta spread the word about getting pegged. Absolutely. One balloon. Enemy. By some little times. Egg. Critical hit. Ours are. Basically. off the noise gate for okay uh, 
How we doing now? How we doing now? I mean, I guess we'll tell be able to tell <laughs> better uh, as we move along. Rubber slime. First hit gets plus 10. Fire orb detonates spawns in one hit. I don't like any of those. Oh, no. It kept cutting me off. Okay. Well, yeah, hopefully it's not doing that anymore. Let's crit these little guys. These little trees. Uh, leave behind a corpse when they die, which is very annoying to deal with. God, I suck at this game. Sometimes you gotta lock in. As you probably noticed, bombs um, hit everyone in the row, so very useful to collect a lot of people on screen and then pop off. Whap, whap. Be good to have for noisy environments after some adjusters. adjustments. Yeah. Word. Alright, cool. And yeah, glad you can hear me and also the game. That's nice. And neither of us are extremely quiet. Multi ball. Oh, you know, I want to do a ball work build. I've never d gotten a lot of ball work, which is armor. Um, so I'm going to wait for those pegs to show up. Oh, yeah, and whenever you see a chest, go for that ish. Good stuff. Ooh, bombs activate nearby pegs when detonated. Let's go. Come on, get that crap. Ah. Oh. Stop. And like the spiders attack you every turn, which sucks. I think they only yeah, they only deal one, so it's not like a huge deal, but it can add up. Bye bye. Dude, a good combo in like a roguelike game is so fun. Uh, reason I'm going for the skull and crossbones instead of the skull is it's a strong monster, which uh, have a lot better ability to kill you, but also give you one of these special relics. So they make you very, very strong if you play your cards right. Or you die. HP guys with the bomb so you can just really hammer on the slime behind them, but as I've mentioned before, I'm not an expert at this game, I just like it. It's fun. No! Bad cell reset. You've had Peglin installed on your phone? That's rad. Targeted attacks also hit nearby enemies. Who collected coins contribute? No, yeah, this is the winner. Overflow causes excess damage to carry over to the next enemy. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This might be the best time of my life. 
you stumble upon this mysterious altar. You feel yourself pulled towards it, and as you near it, you realize you're holding out potential offerings, one orb in each hand. They're both pebbles. Okay, so I lost one of my pebbles, and the other one uh, leveled up. I'm going to go for the normal enemy so I can collect more money. Because right after these treasure chests, uh, there's a shop that I noticed. So let's go, let's go to the shop after this. <laughs> Holy shit. Playing on lower levels is so much fun. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I screwed that up for a second. Pegwards start with plus three bomb. Yeah, let's bomb and run. Hey Siri, play Final Fantasy bombing run. Oh, well now I have to get the Buster Sword because I was just talking about it. Whenever the board is refreshed, deal damage to all enemies equal to the number of pegs restored. Very good. Um, let's get an additional refresher. And yeah, whenever pegs are refreshed, they're going to be plus one damage. Let's get that too. Yeah, we don't need that additional option. Ah, what the hell? No, there's another store. Let's go to the let's go to the next store. I did not do any uh, audio recording tests. <laughs> How about that? Let's see. I probably should have yesterday because I didn't do anything else. Might as well. Alas, so it goes, but hopefully that's better. out of here. All right, sick. Uh, we're going to get this restore because it heals. And when you fully upgrade it, it actually increases your max health, which Tommy likey. Tommy want wingy. Find a forge, hot and ready to smelt, yet oddly unattended. You think you could use it, but your little peglin hands aren't enough aren't made to handle the heat. Should I take the hammer? Take the forge? What do you think? What should I get? Or use the forge, which I nah, I want the relic, baby. Scoop up the forge or take the smithing. I actually don't know what the smithing hammer does. I've seen the forge before. I think I'm gonna take the hammer. Though scooping up an entire forge would be very funny. I'm gonna take the hammer. Whenever you discard an upgradable orb, upgrade it until the end of combat. Oh! That's pretty cool. The hammer is quite heavy for your tiny, tiny arms, but you should be able to make some use of it with your special satchel. Okay. Oh, actually, so that means if I discard this restore, it'll go up to level three. Great. And I only get one disc discard a turn, so. I'm gonna use the rest. Unfortunately, this mole is blind, so my blind ability doesn't do anything to it at all. Which is very sad. There we go! Oh man, I'm low on health. Mike's still at 100. Oh yeah! Mike's still at 100% for sure. Right, 
now I will get some max health. Here, I turned up the gain. Maybe I should turn it down a little bit now. Let's see if that's any better. Okay, 38 health left. Come on. Finish this guy. Easy. Um, I can't really pull it up or anything, but there's just like a dial on the Scarlet that, I don't know, it says gain, so I turned it up. And it looked like it made a difference in the little monitor here. Let's upgrade that again. You can no longer obtain gold in battles, but your current shot total damage is dealt to the target enemy every three gold you collect. No, I like getting money too much. Oh, okay, cool. Better now. Good, good, good. Every shot has one multi-ball. But attacks get minus two, minus... I don't know if I could do any damage with minus two, minus two. Let's do the round squirrel. I have no idea what a round squirrel is, but we're going to find out. Oh, I see some treasure chests and skull and crossbones to the left. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. Oh. Damage. Oh, here we go. This is my... There, got some max health. GG. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. This dag orb has weak regular damage, but huge crit damage. So let's upgrade that bad boy. Whenever you would lose health, reduce the amount lost by one. That's nice for those chip range damage guys. Create two gold whenever the board's refreshed? Dog. I am a greedy man. I'm going to take that. Aw, oh, man. All right. Well, I appreciate you hopping in and helping out. Safe travels home. See you around, big fella. Oh, that must be the round squirrel. That second thing. I should slow down so I can actually see it. Whoa. Oh, this guy's scary. He gets up to you. It's, uh, it's Big Jover. I don't think he'll be getting to me.
I don't know what research points are. Those are new for me. Oh, Bucklorb. It's time to begin the Balwark build. I'm just going to upgrade it twice, even though the upgrade is more expensive the second time. Enemy damage resistance becomes weakness instead. No, let's get the healer. Heal one for every 12 pegs. That's nice and easy. Nice and simple. We like that. Oh yeah, it is a little round squirrel. <laughs> That's adorable. Just like that. We're upgrading, we're cruising, we're rolling. All is well. First guy's dead in one shot. Oh, we're starting to get that chip damage I was talking about. GD it. Overflow damage is nice. Fifty research points. Uh, no ball work available. Oh, we could just have piercing straight up. Oh, another max health though. Let's get that max health upgrade. I love max health upgrades in basically any game. They're beautiful. Kind of like Voldemort in the sense where the further away from death I am, the happier I am. That's not a Voldemort. That's just a, that's just a thing. Shut up, Casey. You don't have to make it about Harry Potter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> We're moving on. Uh, I am a Ravenclaw. Actually, I'm a Ravenclaw. Stop the stream, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up, actually, I'm a Ravenclaw. It's beautiful. It's one of the more gorgeous things I've ever seen. Who? What are you talking about, who? Like Voldemort? I was comparing myself to Voldemort in that I like being f as far away from death as possible. And then I was like, oh, that's just kind of a human condition thing. Like, you know, I think that's uh, that's most people, not just like an evil lich wizard man. Start each battle with plus one must circle. It's all over plus X plus zero. Or increases my max health by 15. Uh, you know, I said all that stuff about avoiding death, but I'm going to take the damage. Heal one every time the board's refreshed. Every reload grants plus two must circle. And whenever you gain must circle, gain one additional. Why the hell not? Let's go. All right. Ooh, big thunder. Big ponders outside. Oh, this is this is Peglin. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. That was great. One shot, just thousands of damage, GG's. Um, I don't think I need another restore, honestly. I want to get my ball work. I'm immune to attack damage while reloading. Hell yeah. Every reload, your enemies get an extra, extra turn. It's very annoying. Oh, yeah, and if this guy gets to you, you just die. He just eats you, which is kind of fun. Hopefully, he does not get close. We're doing damage. He moves very slowly. We'll see. Oh, that was not good. Oh boy. Um Yeah, let's get in that corner and move those reloads around a little. Here we go. Very nice. Seems like we could really use some more damage still. Apply a shield to every five balls hit. Grants one ball work for each shield on the board after attacking. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Every orb will fire a copy of itself, but you can only aim in four directions. No thank you. Attacks deal two times damage, but you deal three self. No, thank you. All orbs get morbid, but boards contain one less refresh. Man, these all kind of suck. I'm going to take that one, though. Okay, we've made it to the cave. I think this is the last level. turn down the game just a little more yeah see it's big it's big booms like really here i feel like that should be better and if the game's a little quiet for people in the stream sorry <laughs> Okay, we have 134 gorgeous max health. This guy missed twice on 12% shot each time to miss. That's great. Go to hell. More ball work.
Oh, this is the mines, not the cave. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the map. See which way offers us more treasure. Uh, this one has one, two, and then a gold, and then a skull and crossbones. Two shop skull. Oh, three shop skull and crossbones. One shop, two, three. Yeah, I just like the vibe of the left side more. Oh, did that ball work? Take the shot for me? That's dope. If you screw up navigation, you can take damage. That was not an inspired shot. Jeez Louise, cut it out already. side. Oh, those red bombs deal damage to you in addition to your enemy. So they're... He's rubbing his face on the futon? Yeah, he really does that a lot. Oh, I should have shown Shimmy on stream. Alright, yeah, go grab him. Everyone loves Shimmy. Shimmy's the greatest man who ever lived. Shimmy once fought 47 evil sorcerers. Alright. That's Shimmy. Yes, wave to your adoring fans. Do it. Oh, I am an adoring fan. <laughs> You're so smart. You're not dumb at all. Yeah, you can hang out. More ball work. Every 17 pegs hit has a random positive slime applied. Josie yells, Shimmy! <laughs> I think he was just yelling. It's one of those, like, you, you always want to see be seeing a dog, but, like, not a necessity of life. There we go. Oh, yeah. Good night. GG. Whenever an enemy is defeated, refresh the board. That seems pretty great.
Bombs detonate in one hit. Yeah. All right, now let's go to the shop. Spend all that money. All right, aim is longer. Displays an additional bounce. Now I can upgrade my max HP by four at the end of rounds. When gaining max health, increase the amount gained by one. Oh my god. That's awesome. Ball work. Ooh, this just gives you a freebie. Attacks apply spin faction one to enemies. Great. I love that. Just a little extra poison for the lads. Oh, yeah. We're doing okay. Seventy-seven, eighty-seven. Damn it! I think there's a. I think you unlock a new peglin. You get to a hundred ball work. Shit, that's unfortunate. More ball work. Healing slime, two additional crits, or gain one must circle. Yeah, let's get that must circle, dog. Let's go, let's go. Oh, there's that poison. Pops off another 10 health. That's nice. was that? I have no idea what just did damage to those guys, but it was sick. Now I'm just clicking. Let's raise our max HP by four as well. All right, here's the final boss. All right, let's get that ball work up. I've never really understood what the hell this like is supposed to be. This like thing, this weird grid. It's like, okay, I don't know, cool. Hell with it. Let's do damage. Now you're all in big, big trouble.
now and that's it gg <laughs> wrecked all right i didn't unlock anything but i made it out of the mines hooray all right now we're gonna play a game with crucible i'm gonna go into my max max crucible level so Pebbles have minus zero, minus one, which means they do less crit damage. Uh, mini boss battles can appear in the question mark scenarios on the map. Pegboards contain one less crit. Miss navigation damage, so if you accidentally fall into the fire at the bottom of the levels during navigation, take more damage. Uh, there's fewer refresh pegs. Enemies and mini bosses have increased health. Post battle healing is reduced. You don't receive any starting gold, and battles provide less gold. Uh, the red bomb self-damage increases. Bosses have increased health. Start each run with a Terra Ball, which is, you know, is what it sounds like. Uh, bombs deal less damage. You only heal 50% of your max HP when defeating a boss, instead of all of it. Start with 15% less max HP. En enemies take an additional turn while you reload. <laughs> and start each turn with a horror ball. So we have a horror ball and a terror ball. Uh, all these are cumulative. I'm gonna die very quickly. I'm gonna try and keep my healing up. Yeah, you will see the effects of these stacks immediately. See, bombs do like 35 damage instead of 50. Kind of rough. We don't love it. Still useful. Yeah, as soon as I say that. Just annihilate an entire squad. I didn't mean to go over here. Double damage slime. That actually sounds pretty good. Yeah, let's get the double damage slime ball. You find a waterfall just off the path. What secrets might it be hiding? Let's check behind the waterfall. Oh, we get a relic. Yay. I saw a chest over here, so I'm immediately going for that. Get as many crits as you can. Once you start getting overwhelmed, it's just over. That was the horror ball, I believe. The giant one. And that's the terror ball, the tiny one. Which I actually like less. The terror ball is really rough. I'm excited to figure out what those research points are for, though. That'll be kind of cool. Alright. Yep, there they are. Just beating the hell out of me for three turns straight. Yeah, let's discard that. slides in there. Okay. Please. Ooh, that was kind of close, actually. But we made it. Oh, I'd love to start a Spinfection build, but... It's just bad. Yeah. It's like... Confers no benefits and may God have mercy on your soul sort of thing. Your aimer is longer and displays an additional bounce. 
Like that'll probably help me. Though it does kind of distract me too, so. It's like you can barely throw it. It deals zero damage to everything. It's horrible. The one good thing about it is it has that big size, so it can kind of like help you out when it. Uh, oh, come on. How did it not hit the refresh? Give me a break. Um, so it can help when you're like trying to hit a specific peg. It's giant size can kind of help you out there, which is nice. So, in very specific situations, it's kind of worth it. Oh, Terra. Alright. Sorry, bro. I'm locked in. I can't think of this. You know what? It probably is. Hang on. Oh, wait. I'm mixing up the horror ball again with the Terra ball. Yeah, they're both eyes. No pun, alas. I think this boss is gonna whip my ass. Yep, I'm dead. Wow. Final HP, negative one out of 85. Great, thanks. Pegs hit, damage dealt. That's kind of fun. Okay, you know what? I think that's it for Peglin. I got nothing else to show you. It was the easy version and the hard version. They're both very fun. But I think it's time to switch over to the other Peg game. The Peg game that people know. Um, my title's still struggling to stay alive in Kenji? No. Wait, really? My stream information? Wait, no, I think I changed this stuff. I changed this stuff when I started the stream, but now I have to switch it all around to Peggle stuff. Pop cap. Peggle. Oh, Peg Games, cool, yeah. Okay, I have updated the stream in info. Now we're going to switch over to Peggle. Deluxe. 
Make sure that pops up. Oh boy, this game hates being alt-tabbed. Okay, and let's change the Viper 100 label text. We're playing Peggle now. It's Peggle time. Oh. Here, I'm gonna restart Peggle. It didn't <laughs> it seems very upset with me. And this is number ninety-five. We're one twentieth of the way through my list of 100 games, the 100 best games ever. I think it's been appropriately rated so far, if I do say so myself. Damn, it really does not. Hang on, I might have to do a window capture instead of a game capture. Don't look at all my games. Oh, wait, that's my Steam name. We shouldn't be showing that. Come on. I'm very popular. I'm going to get doxxed. <laughs> Bro, this is ridiculous. Do I have to show my entire 